Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine in today's video since we are in the season of celebration what I wanted to do was make another video on food uh, and uh, what I'm doing today is I am going to be trying out a couple of things that I've ordered in from the western again and uh, this time I have ordered in something vegetarian that's right there is one day in the week when I am personally vegetarian and that's why you know I order in vegetarian food on one particular day now Today, I'm going to be trying out the Wedge Yellow Thai Curry from the West End. And apart from that, uh, what I've also ordered in are some chocolate strawberry baliners. Yes, that's right. In my last video, I would actually ordered in some cream cheese strawberry baliners. This time, I've ordered in some chocolate and strawberry baliners. So without further ado, let's get started and find out how delicious they are. Okay, so let's first get started with how the Thai curry looks like. So what comes along with the Thai curry is um, jasmine rice and you've got um, a container full of this jasmine rice and here you have the yellow Thai curry so I just wanted to show you know how this looks so I'm just gonna move it around a little bit and show you the color of it so this is the color of the Thai curry and uh, we're gonna try that in a minute quickly apart from that what I also wanted to show you were these chocolate strawberry baliners now they look absolutely beautiful and um, again you've got this uh, donut bun and you've got chocolate filled inside that donut bun along with fresh strawberries and um, right on top you've got some shavings of uh, dark chocolate and um, the shavings look really tasty and again we're quickly gonna find out how it all tastes how the flavors come together and uh, let's start eating now so I've taken out a small portion of the rice and now I'm just gonna put in some gravy onto the rice the gravy looks nice um, it's very rich in terms of um, the thickness so it's not a thin or a runny curry it's actually quite thick and I believe they have put in some coconut milk along with some cream and there's some fresh vegetables which are here you've got baby corn you've got French beans you've got mushrooms and you've got some broccoli as well along with carrot so let's dig in and let's get started with the food now so here's my plate and I'm gonna dig in Let's 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 find out how it tastes. I'm gonna take a spoon of some baby corn and some broccoli in my first bite. A little bit of rice, as you can see. I'm just gonna make that clear. Okay. So there's rice, broccoli, baby corn, along with some gravy. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Now, this is really good. Um, what I like about it is that there's just a hint of sweetness in there. I think it comes because of the cream or because of the coconut milk. But along with that, you've got this uh, very strong um, uh, hot or hotness uh, because of the chili powder and um, there's chili powder in it red chili powder i think a little bit of that and um, it is hot it's it's although it's yellow in color but um, the curry is quite hot so um, the flavors really burst in your mouth because of i believe some of the uh, thai spices that that they've put in i think there's a, a little bit of lemongrass as well in it and all these flavors really come together extremely well so you've got lemongrass, uh, you've got mushrooms, Thai spices, 
uh, chili powder all mixed together with the coconut milk and the cream and these vegetables man they're really crunchy I don't I, I, I don't know you know whether you'll be able to hear it on the mic or not but man extremely good in fact that's exactly how the vegetables should be in a, uh, in, in a curry because vegetables which are overcooked they don't taste that good you know what i mean it's all mushy and it's not that great to have but here every single vegetable whether it's your corn whether it's your french beans nice and crunchy and even your broccoli you know if you overcook the broccoli it will be all over the curry so this shows that you know all the vegetables they've been cooked at the right temperature very well let me try one of the mushrooms as well i'm just gonna try a mushroom now mm. now these are those button mushrooms and again the taste is simply fantastic now this is perhaps the best thai curry that you'll get in kolkata i've had thai food in other places as well um you know at the obrai or um uh you know other thai restaurants as well and um none of those curries come close to this one the taste of this curry is extremely good because like i said it's got that right hint of sweetness along with hotness and um along with those rich flavors of the thai spices and the lemongrass not overdone perfect balance food of course is all about balance and this gets it absolutely perfectly right okay again my final thoughts on the thai curry first of all a big thumbs up simply because of the fact that this is the best thai curry that i've had in kolkata again perfect sweetness perfect spiciness hotness and uh, what beautiful flavors in fact i've had thai curries in thailand as well the reason why i prefer this over that is number one uh this is kind of like an indian thai food you know like you have indian chinese so the reason why i like this one is number one it's got more cream or it's got more uh coconut milk that's number one reason it's slightly more sweeter than what you get in thailand also it's less hot or less spicier as you may call it so that's one of the reasons you know as to why i prefer this more over the authentic uh yellow curry that we get in thailand um having said that i would highly recommend this uh, thai curry especially if you're a vegetarian and you love vegetarian food the vegetables they're of top quality they're very fresh um and um you can literally fe feel that in every crunch in every bite that you take so big two thumbs up for the yellow thai vegetarian curry um and uh, i would highly recommend this so please do try this out if you're in kolkata if you can order from the west end this is one of the best things that you can order if you're out to eat anything vegetarian and in the thai cuisine okay start of the evening the dessert life is incomplete without the dessert in fact it's so beautiful that i can't stop myself from looking at it over and over again i'm going to show you you know what's inside and uh, then i'm going to quickly dig into it now like i said number 1 you've got chocolate shavings on top and you've got some cocoa powder sprinkled on top and this is a donut bun right in the middle you have got fresh strawberries these are fresh strawberries and you've got some chocolate cream with it so this not it's it's not vanilla cream but it's actually chocolate cream i don't know if you can see this i'll try to just show this on camera and uh okay so i'm going to put this here and take a bite let's see where i can bite in from mm Mm. Wow. This is even better 
then the cream cheese berliners now i'm a big fan of chocolate i love chocolates especially dark chocolates chocolate and strawberry by the way they go very well together and the shavings on top you know this is top quality chocolate this is all top material you know it's it's fresh the materials that the western actually puts in into its dessert is just so good and the bun i've said this before as well their donuts are so soft it's freshly baked in fact when i ordered it it took almost 2 hours for them to deliver the uh, uh, the uh, order because of the fact that they were baking it this is freshly baked and um, my advice to you is as soon as you get it please refrigerate it because number 1 it's got strawberries number 2 it's got cream in it and uh, obviously you know and you've got chocolate on top as well so in case you know you have um, you know something hot nearby um, i would request or recommend that you don't keep it near that just refrigerate it and um, it's best had when it's cold but man is it tasty mm Mm. This is even better than the cream cheese berliners that I had the last time. And I don't know if it's my order today or what, but there's just this great balance of sweetness and a little tanginess in the strawberry that I'm getting from this. Now, the chocolate itself is I think you know these are dark chocolate shavings. So they're not overly sweet by the way i'm not a fan of milk chocolate i personally prefer dark chocolate and eh? mm. these are not overly sweet so i like chocolate which is not very sweet that's exactly what it is and what the strawberry does so beautifully is it cuts that extra sweetness i mean in the sense first of all it's not extra sweet let me correct myself but it cuts that uh, sweetness from the chocolate to give you that balanced taste in every single bite and mm the cream the chocolate cream it melts in your mouth and so does the bun the buns are so soft again i would recommend that you have these fresh don't don't keep it overnight or you know have it after a couple of days have it while it's fresh so as soon as you order it um if you can refrigerate it refrigerate it for 30 minutes and then have it and enjoy every single bite because every single bite is so good mm mm amazing amazing Now this is perhaps you know one of the best desserts again I told this the last time but I think the Westin and the Kolkata bread company they've outdone themselves with this what they did was they took the cream cheese berliners and instead of the cream cheese they put in strawberry cream and instead of uh, sprinkled sugar on top they had sprinkled cocoa and chocolate shavings and I believe this personally to me tastes better than the cream cheese berliner simply because of the fact that I am a fan of chocolate in case you do not like chocolate take a look at my other video as well where i have spoken about the cream cheese strawberry berliners if you like vanilla if you like um uh, powdered sugar sprinkled on top of your donuts that's the kind of dessert that you would want to have but with this man they've hit a home run and uh, wow what a beautiful dessert to have after that beautiful thai curry and Mm. Amazing. So, a big big thumbs up from my end for the chocolate strawberry berliners. So good, just so good. Okay, so that brings me to another video and uh the end of that video and um uh, fantastic fantastic experience eating this lovely food from the West End. The Thai curry was from the Nori which is the uh, Japanese restaurant and um, the dessert which was the uh, chocolate strawberry berliners were from the Kolkata bread company just like the last video that I made. Now 
what i would like to state is that this is a christmas season and this is you know the season of celebration of joy of people coming together and i thought that i should make this series where i speak about food and what you can order in now so far i have covered the western only because what i wanted to do was last week i covered some um, uh, snacky items like um, sausage rolls and um, turkish pides and this week i covered some thai cuisine what i want to do is i also want to cover their indian cuisine in my next video and i would still continue with um, the western series and what you can order from the western now a few thoughts here the in terms of pricing a lot of people believe that uh, five star hotels can actually be very expensive um certain items yes they are they are quite expensive but when it comes to um other items like the jasmine rice and the thai curry that i ordered in from nori the the total price of that item was not as much as you would think it would be with taxes it cost me 530 rupees and that was good enough for two people in fact we've still got leftovers so there were two of us who ate that and we've still got leftovers so in terms of quantity it would not disappoint you and in terms of quality again when you go into a restaurant you're not quite sure of the uh, quality of the oil how many times they've used that oil etc and um, you know the quality of the vegetables but here you can literally see th 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 there is this crunch in every bite of the vegetable that you bite into and uh, you can tell that the quality of the materials or the vegetables or the items the spices etc used they're all top notch there's nothing stale freshness in every bite and that's what i love about you know the western and ordering in from nori or ordering in from the kolkata bread company you pay a little maybe higher in fact in a lot of cases it's not higher in my next video i'll actually talk about why it's not actually higher but it's equivalent to what you would pay at any standard restaurant um but here it was just 530 rupees for the thai curry the vegetarian thai curry and these strawberry chocolate balainas are 120 rupees each so that's how much it costs so not very very expensive you could say there are uh, many other you know places um, dessert places where there are certain desserts which even cost 200 to 250 rupees so compared to that this is nothing because this is a five star hotel that you're getting your order from so that brings me to the end of this video i would highly recommend the uh, um the thai curry and the chocolate strawberry balainas from the western nori and the kolkata bread company and um before i end this video i would also like to state that this is not a paid video or uh western has not paid me to do this in fact i'm not even famous right now i'm just making these videos so that i can help you all folks you know understand what you can order in at home when you are celebrating with friends and family members especially during this time of christmas and new years the celebration of obviously you know continues till the first week of january it'll be good for you folks you know especially the ones who are in kolkata to know what to order in when you're celebrating so This week we have done the Thai cuisine which is a Thai curry. Next week I'll try out something Indian. Hopefully biryani. So stay tuned for the next week's video as well and uh, I'd be happy to post that and continue the series on what to order in when you are celebrating especially from the western Kolkata. So that's it for this video folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this content. Let me know in the comments box below what you think of this and if you think that I should make more such videos and more such um, series of videos with that said we come to this end uh, come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button and also share this with your friends and family members because it would mean a lot and um, it would encourage and motivate me to put out more content like this for all you good folks take care god bless you all and season's greetings again folks